Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to share with you the most common reason why these vehicles fail to start or have random stalling issues. A common issue that these Volvos have and they've had for years is that they have bad fuel pump relays, meaning that the relay goes bad and it stops the pump from functioning either intermittently or total failure. A lot of computer products and relays are soldered by machines and these solder joints are thin and they crack over time. Heat, age, stuff like that cracks the solder joints in them. And when the solder joints fail, they simply stop the fuel pump from working. Now on these Volvo 850s, S70s, V70s, the fuel pump relay is 103 and it's located under the fuel box cap. So I'll show you the video on how to access that, remove it and jump it. But let me go and show you how to make a jump wire so that you'll have a good uh, thing to put in your glove box and a good thing to test it with. These are the supplies I use to make a jump wire. 16 gauge wire, little push on connectors that take 14 to 16 gauge, needle nose pliers, and something to strip a little bit of the wire off of the coating here so you can hook up your end pieces real quick. I pull off about five or six inches of wire and I'm gonna cut that off right there. Take the razor blade or a wire stripper and strip off about a quarter of an inch of wire on the end, both ends. So you have about that much stripped, go ahead and pull the ends of those coatings off. So you're left with about that much on both ends. Now you wanna take these out and crimp them on the ends of the wire. End of the wire, push it into the connector and you want the tip of the wire to come right out of the connector just a little bit. Now you want to pick up your pliers and use this end as the crimper. So let me show you how that works. You have it in there like that. You squeeze that part that crimps the wire nice and tight. Now you have a great jump wire that will push into the sockets where the relay plugs in at. Now, a lot of Volvo people with these 850s and stuff, they encourage you to carry a spare relay in your glove box. Well, what if that relay is bad or goes bad? I think you're much better off carrying a small jump wire like this in your glove box. That way, if you ever have to uh, test your relay, you got a good jump wire and you don't have a relay that may be questionable as well. So let me go ahead and hook you up with the video, show you how to plug it in to the socket. If your car is having random stalling issues or it's just simply not starting, there's three ways you can check for fuel to see if your fuel pump is working. Number one is to listen real close when you try to start the car. When you let the key go, the fuel pump should hum for about three seconds. And you can listen to that by leaning the front seat back and listening close to the right rear passenger wheel area or you can come under the engine compartment and access the fuel rail which the end of the fuel rail is right here it's got that cap on there you can unscrew that cap and push something in the end of it with a rag if the fuel pump is working it'll spray a good blast of fuel out of there so be careful you don't get it in your eyes or anything and number three you could pull a spark plug and you could see if fuel is spraying inside one of the spark plug holes example of that is if you pull a spark plug out and you go to start the car fuel will actually spray in the cylinder and poof out of the cylinder while you're trying to start the car if the fuel pump is working and it's uh, cycling the injectors while it's trying to start. 
Now listening to the fuel pump is kind of hard to do. You may or may not hear it. I'm going to cycle the key. So you may be able to hear the fuel pump cycle when I hit the key. I actually could not hear it that time either. Again, if you have the jumper wire in and you turn the key on so that all the lights are lit in the dash, your fuel pump should be running full time. You could go put your ear by the fuel pump. You can listen uh, by the fuel filler door or you could come up here and tap the Schrader valve on the end of the fuel rail. Now don't confuse the fuel pump hum with your idle air control valve hum that you hear up here under the hood. Okay, the fuel pump relay is under the fuse panel so you need to take out these four screws on the corners of the fuse panel and get that cover off of it. You can start by taking off that trim. Alright, it's a little easier for me to get this screw back here with the uh, hood all the way up in the 90 degree angle. So that's the hood in a 90 degree angle. I think you could pull a motor with the hood open like that. And all you have to do is move these levers on the side to get them like that on either side. So here's all the fuses under there and then the relays. This relay is the cruise control module relay. This relay is the fuel pump relay. And this is the headlight fog light relay. So we're going to be dealing with the fuel pump relay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that now. What you do, you just grab it with your fingers and wiggle it out. Now it's out. They say if you jump 15 and 87, the fuel pump will come on. So you could jump that. Sometimes just pulling the relay and putting it back in will allow it to work for a little while. So you can replace it. Try that or jump it to make sure the fuel pump comes on. So I'm going to go ahead and get a wire and jump it. So I got the wire in there like that. All I have to do is turn the ignition key on and the pump should turn on and run until I turn the key off. I turned the key and the pump is running. I disconnected the fuel line so that it will run continuously until I turn it off. So. I'm actually draining this car of its fuel. So that's how you jump the fuel relay. Uh, it's not good to drive the car around like that, but if you got any questions, let me know. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.